the global energy demand has continued to increase since the 1950s. While traditional biomass, such as wood and petroleum-based fossil fuels, such as coal, oil and gas, have dominated, nuclear, hydropower, wind, solar and other renewables have also entered the energy mix. In a similar breakdown, petroleum-based fossil fuels make up most of the electricity generation mix. With efforts to utilize cleaner energies, increases in the use of renewable energy have helped the global push. While renewable fuels are generally cleaner, with fuels such as coal still being dominant in many parts of the world, a way to have clean coal technology is vital. Conventional coal-fired power plants make use of pulverized fuel, as well as supercritical and ultra-supercritical technologies. More modern, clean coal technologies also exist. These include fluidized bed combustion, integrated gasification, combined cycle units, and underground coal gasification. Pulverized fuel technology operates at 170 bar and makes up most power stations globally. More modern technology operates at higher pressures and allows for greater efficiencies. Next generation ultra supercritical power plants with pressures above 300 bar and temperatures up to 630 degrees Celsius will increase efficiencies even further. These increased efficiencies will mean more energy for the same pollutant load, thereby reducing the effective pollution per kilowatt. Beyond the traditional coal processes, Clean coal technology exists in the form of different plant layouts. The first of these is fluidized bed combustion. This controls the pollutant emissions by burning at a lower temperature and bringing flue gases into contact with sulfur absorbing chemicals. The pollutants are captured inside the boiler while also providing a unit with more effective chemical reaction and heat transfer capabilities. Allowing for recirculation results in an even more efficient system. The next type of clean coal technology is IGCC. In an integrated gasification combined cycle system, there are two sections. The coal gasification section produces clean syngas which fuels a combustion turbine. In the combined cycle, exhaust heat from combustion is recovered to produce steam, which then passes through a steam turbine to power another generator which produces more electricity. IGCC can have higher efficiencies and gives product flexibility. It can produce a wide range of chemicals while also making it easier for CO2 to be captured in a concentrated stream, which can later be sequestered. Another clean coal technology is underground coal gasification. Here, two wells are drilled to a coal seam. The first is injected with air, which is then gasified, with the gases captured through the second well for further processing. The UCG product from the second well includes hydrogen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, methane, and sulfur. This product depends on the coal type as well as the air fed into the first well. An obstacle to this process is that it is out of sight and there are a limited number of controllable parameters. However, the process does not stockpile coal, has a smaller footprint, produces less dust, uses less water and generally produces less pollution. It is not going to be possible to avoid global warming gases completely. The process of capturing and permanently isolating these gases is called carbon sequestration. This could offer a way to stabilize atmospheric levels of carbon dioxide and slow down the progress of global warming. The carbon dioxide that is captured could be sequestered in ponds with bacteria, in old coal beds or depleted oil reserves. They could also be sent into deep aquifers or the ocean, or taken up by forests or other plants, such as through land rehabilitation. There are some challenges to CO2 sequestration. There are large volumes of gases produced that result in logistical challenges. Retrofitting the technology is possible and can have favorable results. However, this may reduce the efficiency of the power plants.